Hello and uh, welcome to Watchdog Wargaming. Um, today I want to talk about um, how to improve your wargaming vehicles in general. Um, there's some amazing vehicles out there, um, but they all look like some of them that just come off the factory floor or they've um, come off RSM's parade and uh, they're all clean and shiny and uh, are on the battlefield. As we know, whether it's your Jeeps, Land Rovers, trucks, half tracks, tanks, or whatever your battle taxi is, um, after some time, especially you know over weeks and months and on being operations or exercises, um, these vehicles become um, home to their crews. Um, so, so they start building up external stowage, um, whether that's personal kit and their equipment or the webbing. Uh, spares for the vehicles, fuel drums, tentage, um, cooking kit, ration boxes, ammunition, uh, camo nets, um, tarps, um, helmets, and even bicycles as well. And uh, soldiers around the world have got a tendency of collecting things, and um, and it all ends up on the uh, outside of the vehicle because the uh, the inside is already too crowded. So that was one of the things I wanted to speak to you about is that for me, the key element for improving your amazingly painted tanks, armor cars, self-propelled guns is, is stowage. So um, I've done exactly the same. Um, recently, I, uh, I, I've made an old um, an Aurora Centurion tank from, I think it was in the early 1960s. Really, really basic tank painted it and I thought oh it is absolutely missing something so um, I've had a look around and I've um, been on our sort of um, eBay and um, other places that are available to just sort of say and uh, other manufacturers and uh, and also with uh, use of green stuff as well I was um, uh, MA made lots of uh, stowage tarps and it visually uh, improves the actual vehicle that you've got. So um, in Blue Peter fashion, I will uh, show you one that um, I was starting to work on and one that um, I finished uh, a couple of weeks uh, weeks ago. So just bear me a second, I'll just pull this one out. So um, as I was saying, stowage. So I will put a couple of slides on so sort of give you examples of some things over the, uh, over the um, over the years, so World War Two, Korea, modern Gulf, um, to see what, you know as, as examples of what I'm talking about. So in the uh, in the pictures, there'll be one um, from uh, Korea, which is one of the Centurions, which I more or less based um, what I'm just about to show you on. So these 1960s Aurora tanks, 143rd scale, very very basic, and it's sort of you know made in the probably traditional way, nothing nothing. No CAD design or anything. So, um, um, so th this is so this is basically what the the, the, the tank came out with. So it's the, um, there was no uh, canvas mantle on the front of it. Uh, lots of gaps and everything else. So what I've done is um, the company. I'll show you the sort of the bag in a second. So it's basically I've, I've put some stowage on it and it's already sort of improved itself. Um, there's green stuff uh, rolls on there as well to Poland's and also I've rented my bit box for uh, 30 caliber machine guns from 28 mil um, an extra um, personal kit like the uh, 38 pattern um, small packs large packs and the helmets on there as well so that's sort of that's where that, that, that gives you a good starting point as well uh, and because there was no um, canvas mantle I made uh, made one out of um, green stuff, not brilliant, but it does the job once painted. So that's sort of the thing that I'm, I'm basically talking about. So now I'll put that one to one side and I'll just show you sort of, you can see what I've done. It's basically all the boxes and everything else. So if you search on sort of um, not only eBay, but um, Google, you know, sort of war game accessories in this case was 28 mil stowage you'll come across sort of like companies like um, war games accessories um, I think it was not that bad about six pound um, by a company called Redog so it's www.redog.uk um, 
I'm nothing not associated with the company whatsoever. It's just that um, what that's um, that's what I've basically used. And you get uh, arrives in a post. You get a, a, a bag like that, and with some uh, items in. And uh, when you open it up, you will get all these uh, a bag full of resin cast bits. Now these will be, as you can probably see on there as well. It's um, there's lots of uh, stowage, baggage, um, uh, ammunition boxes, ammo, ammo boxes, and everything else. The good thing about this one is you can actually say, so I just want that that um, box there. You quickly break it off. So that's that's a um, it's probably a 17 pounder container or uh, some form of ammunition box. Uh, I can quickly tidy it up with um, a nail file or even just a normal file just to actually get get, uh, get rid of the, the residue on there and that'd be perfect to, to uh, stick to your vehicle you know quick simple and something that improve your vehicle also in there as well it was um so you remember in some of the um, you might have seen some of the world war ii um, tanks the shermans they've got the the camouflage strips that uh, dangle down off the side of the turret um they're included on there as well so it's if i can show you on yeah so it's those are all on there as well again that gives you scope to um you know uh, do anything with those vehicles lots of tarp holings big small personal kit um but also as well as i said um the recent visit to uh, Warlord Games in, in their in their goodie bag there was a packet of Sky Trek and military models. Again, there was uh, some the old uh, fuel drums on there as well, some larger boxes. They'll be uh, used later uh, later on by myself. And not forgetting uh, the old good old green stuff. Um, if you know if anybody wants any tips on how to use green stuff quite happy to show you I'm still a bit of a novice myself but uh, why do it works for me and uh, um, yeah so that's actually brilliant stuff to use so um, so after I've uh, put all on that uh, put on the, um, all the exist uh, the stowage and everything else and um, using uh, bits from the bit box and everything else this is um, what I basically um, that whoop, there we are, that is going to look like something like that. Let's get my cameras messer. So this is be a Korea um, Korea sort of era uh, centurion. The decals have managed to get from somewhere else, um, and um, all, on the majority of all this, all the tarpaulings is all green stuff. Additional uh, st stowage and equipment is come from my uh, my bit box. Um, if you can see me, and also the transfers as well. Um, don't forget, you've uh, it's, the t t tankers uh, uh, live on the cup of tea, so don't forget you to uh, put the um, <laughs> your regular mug on there as well. So and I'll, so with a, just a bit of thought. So a, you, a, a brilliant vehicle that you've you know that you're going to paint off with adding some additional stowage um, will you know improves your vehicle a um, hundredfold. So it's always worthwhile having a uh, look at some reference material. Google if you if you're making a particular tank vehicle, whether it's British, German, American, or whatever. Uh, look into the research of it and just see what you know what what the crews did to their vehicles. You'd be quite surprised. Um, you know, sort of uh, the way the one that always makes me uh, chuckle is Kelly's Heroes. You know, sort of uh, you know Oddball and his crew. So just have a look at the amount of stowage and additional additions they had on there. You know, do you want speakers on the side of your tank? You know, it's up to you. But um, that, I thought hopefully that's giving you th food for thought. But it, it, it's for me, it's um, it's quite a you know a, a little basic improvement by putting additional stowage on your vehicles. It improves the vehicles, as, um, you know, tenfold, but also just gives it that um, um, that vehicle a bit more life because it 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 shows that 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 um, the crew, the section, the, the fire team in the back of it, you know, they were associated with that particular vehicle. Um, you know, 
back in the day, I used to jump out of the back of a 432, and as I said, it's that, you know, whilst you're on exercise or on, or on, um, um, on operations, that was your home from home. Um, and so hopefully, so you, with your models, you'll be able to portray, portray that as well. Um, so thank you for, for joining me. It's only a short, sharp um, sort of little chat today, but um, hope you're all well and uh, keep safe and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now. Squad morale restored.